One day the psalmist says, Who is man that you remind of him? And this is very interesting to notice that God reminds of us all of the time. I'm thinking about it that I am living in a planet that is millions of times, billions and trillions of times bigger than I. This giant planet is also wonderful. It has the sea, the rivers, the clouds, the mountains, the volcans, the volcanoes, the jungles, the deserts, the animals, the oxygen, everything ready for me to live in it and for you to live in it. But then I think about the sun, the sun that is more than a million two hundred thousand times bigger, larger than our planet. Where if uh, the planet would have fallen into the sun, it would be just like a drop of water into a lake. Nothing more than that. But then I begin to think about the millions of suns that are just like our sun, enormous. And then I think about that the sun is a star of a fifth category. is not even one of the biggest stars that they are. When I think about Betelgeuse, for example, Betelgeuse is a star that is 8,500,000 times bigger than the sun. It's like, <laughs> it's like the sun compared to Betelgeuse is like a, a drop of water into the sea. But then, then to think that this Betelgeuse is inside of, of a galaxy and, and that there are billions and millions of stars ch- a little bit less than that one, or they are discovering something bigger yet than Betelgeuse. This is this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and as big as it gets, as and as large as it gets, uh, my planet look just like a dust of the cosmos, a very little particle of dust. And yet God says that He loves the world, that He gave His only begotten Son to die for you and to die for me. Now think about it. The one who is saying that, the one who loves you and who loves me is the one who created everything that I'm talking about. And the funny thing is that He does not even live in those planets or in those galaxies, or in those stars. You cannot find Him there. But it's all the opposite. Everything is in Him. The universes, the galaxies, all the stars, all the planets, they all live in Him. (laughs) When I see this, I see, what is man that you remind me? You remind me, O Lord. Why do you remind of me? Who am I? I don't understand this, but I know that I am grateful. As the son of of um, this great singer, Andre Crouch says, I don't know why Jesus loves me. 
I don't know why he cursed. I don't know why he gave his life for me, but I, but I'm so glad. I'm so happy that he did. We don't have to understand why God loves us. I don't have to understand why a cow that is black gives me red meat, white milk, yellow butter, and eat green grass. I just got to understand that I'm glad that I had that great steak. <laughs> well, be glad because God loves you. Be glad because He cares for you. And I hope today you can be grateful to Him and lift up your hands wherever you are and give thanks. For He loved the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son. He loves you. Doesn't matter what you think about Him or what people think about you. Look what God thinks of you. He loves you. He loves you. This is Dario Salas Jr. God bless you.